Hi everyone, my name is Christina Liu. I am a mental fitness coach. I coach entrepreneurs and professionals to significantly improve their mental fitness. And that's the topic I want to talk to you about over the next three weeks. And thank you so much for joining me. Now first you might ask, what is mental fitness? Now I'm going to use the definition of Shirzat Shamin in his New York Times best-selling book, Positive Intelligence. And Shirzad defines mental fitness as the ability to tackle and overcome life's challenges with a positive mindset rather than feeling upset, stressed, or overwhelmed. Now, let me say it again. Mental fitness is the ability to tackle and overcome the challenges that life throws at you with a positive mindset rather than feeling stressed, upset, or overwhelmed. Now, you might also ask, why is this important? Now, again, based on Shirzat means research on over 500,000 participants from all over the world, including many executives and CEOs, and he found that mental fitness is the single most important factor that determines, first of all, how happy you are, and second of all, how well you perform against your potential. Now, think about this for a second. Being happy and living up to your true potential. Now, if we can all have these two things in life, I think we would all have, feel like we're having a pretty good life, wouldn't you say? Now, let me explain mental fitness a little bit more using an analogy of physical fitness. Now, if you are physically fit, then you'll be able to climb these big mountains and lift heavy things without too much stress on your body. You'll feel like hmm, pretty easy right? But if you're not so physically fit, then you might be able to climb the small hills and lift light to medium things. But then when the, the hill becomes a big mountain and when the things get heavier, you're going to have some trouble doing it. You might even hurt your body, right? So same thing with mental fitness. If you are really mentally fit, you can climb those big mountains and lift those heavy things that life throws at you with no problem, right? Whereas if you weren't as mentally fit, you might be able to climb the small hills and lift the light to medium things that life throws at you. Okay, but when it comes to a bigger mountain of problems and heavier things in life, you might feel a lot of stress, anxiety, overwhelm, all those negative feelings. So I think we all know the importance of physical fitness. Right, because we got taught from when we're young. You know, from when we're young, we are moving around, we're playing sports in school, we get physical education classes, and as an adult, you get information everywhere about how to stay physically fit, whether it's going to the gym, going running, lifting weights. But what about mental fitness? Did any of you get a lesson in school, get classes in school that teaches you how to become more mentally fit? Well, if you did, you're really lucky, because I sure didn't. And I didn't even realize that I needed to improve my mental fitness until I was in my 30s. And I didn't call it that back then. I didn't have terminology for it, but I just realized I wasn't happy. I was feeling a lot of stress, overwhelm, um, self-doubt, anxiety. And um, at the same time, I also felt like I wasn't living up to my true potential. Because even though I was having, objectively speaking, a good life, you know, having a good job, making good money, good education, but I wasn't truly happy. I always felt like I, I needed to do something more. I wasn't truly making a real difference. And this wasn't what I was meant to do. But I also didn't know what else there was out there. And I had a lot of fear to go for what I really wanted. So that got me onto this intense and long journey to discover myself and uh, to, to feel better and uh, to finally fulfill my true potential, what I was meant to, to do in this lifetime. And I did a lot of things from reading over a hundred books to going to Vipassana meditation retreat, to going to trainings and seminars. And I even got a doctor of psychology degree. And all of these modalities were good. They helped me to go on this upward trajectory to where I wanted to go. But it wasn't until I got in touch with this positive intelligence methodology by Shirzat Shamin that I truly felt like 
I got to the root cause of all the problems and issues I was experiencing. And second of all, it also gave me really easy to implement and actionable steps that I could take to improve my mental fitness in a really short period of time. It was just a matter of weeks. So that's what I want to talk to you about over the next three weeks. If you're interested in improving your mental fitness, or if you're feeling like you're not as happy as you'd like to be, or you're not living up to your potential, whether it's at work or with your business or with your relationships or uh, just uh, the overall general well-being, then I think this program, this methodology would really help you. So please stay tuned for the next three weeks. And um, tomorrow I'll tell you a little bit more about what happens if you're not mentally fit and what are the concrete benefits you can experience when you have mental fitness. And then I'll also allude to the three pillars of mental fitness. And, um, and then in the future sessions, we'll get into a lot more detail about these three pillars, as well as what are the exercises and practices that you can do to improve your mental fitness. So I really want to thank you so much for joining today. Please do stay tuned. Every day I'll put out a video for about five minutes or so that will give you a little bit more information about mental fitness. Thank you so much. My name again, my name is Christina Liu, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.